Hello you guys, today I'm going to show you best way to farm hearts. If you think about running around the crypt and pulling down those corpses with your spear, then no, that's not the way to do it. It's not a proper grind and you won't get a great results with this, but I'm sure you already know this. I will show you much better consistent way that will get you tons of hearts in no time. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Okay, without any further ado, let's quickly leave the crypt and in the main menu go to Customize Characters. Choose the one that you play most. Now let's have a look at the gear and the augments that you can put in it. Yes, that's right, the augments. They are the key to farm hearts fast. And the ones that you want to equip are Perfect Combat. On level 3 it will give you 21 hearts for winning a flawless match. Also you want to equip Death Benefit. On level 2 it will get you 6 hearts for every fatality that you perform. Alright, now let me show you the best way to utilize them in the game. Let's go to the Classic Towers first. You want to choose the Survivor Tower. That's the one, it's right next to the novice. Pick the easiest difficulty and use your favorite character that you've just equipped with the augments. The reason why we want to play this tower is because it has got only one round and we want to get to that fatality as quickly as we can because it gives us hearts and that's what we want. First opponent should be super easy to beat with the same simple repetitive tactics. Remember that the game will always give you free hearts for a fatality no matter what. Now with the augments you will get another 27, so altogether that's a whooping 30 hearts in just a quick one round match. Nice one, innit? Also keep in mind that if you happen to have those augments on higher levels, then you will get even more hearts than that. Alright, now if you don't want to go to the next fight because you think it might be too hard for this, then you can always quit this tower and simply start it over again. To make it even easier, you can always use consumable and pick someone to assist you during the fight. Just so you know, you can also farm hearts locally, playing against CPU in matches set to one round only if you want. And then at the end of the match, simply pressing retry to speed up the process, and if you get hit during your game, you can always press pause and restart the match. This can be convenient, however, it might be much better when you do it at the towers. Because that way, in the towers, you will also be farming heads. For the head chest in the crypt. That's right, one fatality counts toward one severed head for the special head chest in the crypt. Unfortunately, you can't farm heads locally. It works only in the towers. So you might want to give it a go that way. Anyways, that's double farming in action. And 20 minutes later, I've got already 1000 hearts. Nice! So as you can see guys, that's the way to go. You can quickly make a fortune with augments. Try it and you won't regret it. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my channel. I've got a ton of good stuff about Mortal Kombat. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, if you're playing MK, then I'm sure you know how to hit those buttons. If you're watching it for the first time, then don't forget to subscribe, because there is more stuff coming up about MK. So, catch you later, have a good one, and bye for now.